Imagine a cultural experience that spans a city with a guide that fits in your pocket. Dickens London Trails is a free iPhone app which basically leads audiences on a journey across Dickensian London. Essentially, you pick a character from a Dickens novel who represents a certain type of idea or theme. The themes include crime and punishment, femininity, childhood and poverty. We found individual characters from Dickens' work that represented each of their themes. And then you can walk around London and find relevant locations that meet the theme from a range of novels. Of course, such guided tours are nothing new. Dickens' trails have been under development ever since Dickens' time. People, uh, his readers, have actually visited places that Dickens wrote about that influenced him. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an idea that's 140, 150 years old. Technology has given us an opportunity to do this without a guidebook, without a, an actual guide, for people to take their phone and walk around the city in the footsteps of Charles Dickens. And it's Dickens' characters that add flavour to each of the trails. Abel Magwitch, the character from Great Expectations, leads audiences on a trail around the themes of crime and punishment, whereas the Artful Dodger from Dickens' great novel Oliver Twist leads you on a journey around childhood, poverty and power. There's a, a trail that you can take about women in Dickensian London. So if you're female or if you have an interest in women and women's studies, that will be of interest to you. As a user, you can decide, I want to follow Magwitch, I want to follow the Artful Dodger, or I can just say, right, here I am, just outside Coron Field. What's in this area has Dickens connections? And you can just go on the app and say, right, OK, I'm going to go to this pub that Dickens dined in or, or drank in back in 1859 or you can go to Great Ormond Street Hospital and read about his involvement in the fundraising campaign for, for this famous hospital. But will it need a big investment of time to take one of these trails? A trail is something that some users or some visitors to London might expect to be a step-by-step. -step. You go from one to two to three. But we thought that some people might not actually put aside enough time to go through the whole trail. So it would be nice if they just launched the application and see, oh, there's, a, there's an interesting spot next to me. Exhibition Road was an area where Dickens had a great impact in because he was involved in the setting up of uh, the Great Exhibition, which later on led to a number of key institutions, such as the Victoria and Albert Museum. We could have just focused on one area, but our commitment was to make something happen across London in total, we feature not far shy of 50 different destinations, of which some 35 are actual arts, cultural and learning organisations. Alongside the creation of the trails, some graphic design was required. We all have ideas as arts and cultural organisations about how we want to present our content, and we have masses of content. The challenge for us is how we present that in a really coherent way in relatively new digital platforms such as apps. And in that sense, the, the relationship with a really high-end digital design agency really helped us clarify our thinking about what we needed to do to shape a really meaningful and engaging digital offer. We had a, a meeting with stakeholders and representatives of different culture or organization, trying to get ideas from people, what they think the app should be and do and how they would want it to behave. One of the points was we don't want it to look too scholastic and kind of academic. And that really resonated with me because for it to be engaging and attractive, it needed to look Contemporary. It's not a tool which basically gives you an in-depth insight into Dickens' novels or his working methods, but it uses Dickens' themes and characters from Dickens' times to illustrate social issues and ideas which are still of relevance to contemporary audiences in the London of today. 